And here we are, last but not least, this is the last in our Pedego series. They have a ton of bikes, so I recommend checking them out. But this one is the Avenue. This is probably one of the best valued kind of setups. It has a lot of good features to it. It comes with a good size motor and a good size battery option. Obviously that's all customizable on the battery side. You can choose how big of a battery you want between a couple. The overall position of this bike is relatively comfortable. It has a relatively low step in this model here. So you're able to get on it. If you're looking to commute a little bit faster and still have a bit of performance out of the bike, this is a good choice. The Pedego Avenue we've got here has cable disc brakes and a micro shift 26 shifter again. So good range. Again, they don't give you a huge amount, but this is an electric bike and Pedego is a 100% electric company. So they don't need to give 12 speeds or 10 speeds. They just give you enough. The console is pretty much the same as all the other ones. It looks pretty good, it has a decent display in pure sunlight or glaring. It does get a bit harsh, but it's probably not as bad as the camera makes it look. Six modes again, so you can go one, two, three, four, five electric assist modes. And then number six is straight throttle only. And like you saw, you can actually skip right from off mode to six by going down. It doesn't cycle through to the other ones, but you can actually go straight to a throttle only if that's how you're doing. More and more people are commuting with something like this. So having that option is definitely a good choice, I think. If you're gonna put that throttle on it and have that power and you may as well do it. Very responsive throttle. You don't need to be moving for it to activate, which is interesting. They don't do color match fenders on this one. They just do black, but I think it looks very clean. It'll keep the cost down if they just have black fender that is no rack option on this one either so you would have to get a third party one they do make some stuff but again there's lots of different options out there this is a pretty standard bike you are missing a few standard mount holes but there's lots of clamp on rack options available same idea with every class 2 electric bike has the throttle but still maxes out at that 32k an hour the avenue is definitely that road hard surface path commuter it does have a somewhat adjustable stem but nothing of the same of the boomerang this is kind of a set it and forget it as opposed to be able to move and change it when you want seat does not have a seat post suspension or anything and is definitely a little more sport like of a seat as opposed to the big comfort ones obviously that's all changeable but these are things which come with the bike the avenue is definitely a town bike it is definitely a paved road bike even the treading on the tires and the smaller tires instead of balloon size will make a difference if you went off-road where it's going to be more and more uncomfy i think anyone who is hitting the paved roads and is commuting this could be an excellent option for you it's got a low pri price point of just under three thousand canadian dollars which is now getting into that kind of Costco price range so you're actually getting really low price but overall really good value Again, the benefits of Pedego is they're American. So this is an American company. A lot of the parts manufacturing and stuff is in America. Obviously, lots of it is also in China. But customer service, after sales, it's all American. There's someone to talk to there. It's actually an existing company as opposed to a Costco or a cheaper bike that would also exist. You pay a very small amount more and you're going to get a lot more in the long term with quality, after sales, and if it breaks within two years, you know, they're gonna warranty stuff for you. They actually have some of the industry's best warranty at five years on all their bikes, which is pretty impressive. I think the Element is the only one with like a three year, which is still better than most electric bike companies like Shimano and Bosch who cover a two year warranty. So they're really sticking to it. And I think that's something you've got to really pay attention to especially with these kind of fly-by-night e-bike companies. You're gonna be stuck in the water with a non-functioning bike, completely wasted money just by saving 500 to $1,000 now. And it's just not worth it, unfortunately. So yeah, good looking bike, basic, does the job, full electric, throttle if you need it, customizable battery size, depending on what your usage is. So you can bring that price down more if you need overall looks clean again in the front end obviously you have quite the bundle of wires with the safety off switch the throttle cable the brake cables everything 
but they do a decent job of providing wraps and protection so it does look as clean as possible. Ride quality of this one is gonna be similar to the Avenue, definitely not as comfort based and definitely not as customizable. Could you buy a few extra pieces and get there? Pretty close, but I can't say for sure if this is gonna be as comfortable or as easy to ride as the Boomerang, but it's definitely gonna be a fast rolling bike and you'll gain a little bit more average, higher kilometers out of that battery just because of that style of tire, which makes all the difference on electric bikes. All right, pretty basic one, pretty easy. Just thought I'd show off three Pedagos. People wanna see them, they wanna know things about these. There are throttle options growing and becoming out there. And this is a really good starting price point. You know, you're gonna get good value, good parts and reliability all for under $3,000, which in bike terms is actually pretty impressive. You know, Trek's starting lineup is just over, you know, 3,600 for a Verve for a similar model. And there is a few differences there, but we're not getting into it today. Thanks guys, goodbye.